In this video, I want to explain or address, if you will, an issue that happens if you have a Mac computer with an, a newer version of Microsoft Office that is uh, newer than Office 2011. And it has to do with the implementation of constraints in Solver. So if you have, and this is an example of our blending uh, problem here, if you have a constraint that is implemented in the following way, on the left, so there's a symbol in the middle, right? On the right hand side is just a plain number. And on the left hand side, you have your usual, you know, could be any type of formula. Constraints like this are fine. You can continue to implement them this way. However, if you have a constraint that has formulas on both sides of the symbol, like for example, this one. So this one has a formula here. So there is this quantity, which uses variables, right? Is greater than or equal to another quantity. And that also involves variables because it uses this blue cell and the blue cell depends on the variable. So there's variables on both sides of the symbols. Essentially, that's what I mean. If that's the case, the uh, newer version of Office, the solver in it won't uh, treat this properly. And let me show you what I mean. So this sheet is completely, you know, fully set up, ready to run. And I'm going to run this here and show you what happens. So these quantities are supposed to be no more than these quantities, right? These quantities in row seven are supposed to be no more than the ones in row nine. And the quantities in row 13 are supposed to be no more than the quantities in row 15. And I don't know what's going on, but now it decided not to run. Oh, it did run, okay. So here's what happens. Notice that these are being respected. These are being respected. But if you look at these, right, these numbers in row 13 are not greater than the numbers in row 15. So this constraint is being violated. Essentially, the solver is not handling these property properly because there are variables on both sides of the formula. So what you need to do to fix this is the following. You basically have to move the formulas that are, if you will, on the right-hand side of the symbol to the left in the following way. If you're trying to express x greater than or equal to y, you have to rewrite this to be x minus y greater than or equal to 0. Right? And if you have a less than or equal, likewise. So what I'm going to do here is, I know that the expression I need on the other side is... Um, b7 times b11 so if that moves over right to this part i have to subtract b7 times b11 so i'm going to go into that formula and just do minus whatever i had on the other side right b7 um, b7 times b11 okay so now all of the formulas are on one side and the other side I make it a zero right again what I'm doing there is exactly this I had this before I transformed it into this right and I can make all of these a zero and if I copy this through to the others it's going to update them or should accordingly so now notice that I have what was there before minus what used to be down here, which was the d7 times d11. Now, I can go into solver. I don't think I'm going to need to change anything there, but let's just double check because this formula used to be, right, uh, b13 through d13 greater than or equal to what's in b15 through d15. It's just that now the row 15 used to have formulas with variables in them, and now it just has the constant number zero. And this should fix it. So if we just resolve the problem, we should see that 
so the violation notice that it is violated because minus something is not greater than zero um, at this point it should take care of itself and the answer coming back should be uh, no negative right let's see if it oh okay it is solving now for some reason this computer is a little slow today it shouldn't be like that this is an easy problem and now we are all good um, because it's basically saying the two sides right the x and the y ended up being the same so one minus the other equals zero and that's why this part here is zero and this is the correct solution so if you have a Mac using Excel or Office that is a, a newer than 2011 whenever you need to implement a constraint in solver if it happens to have you know formulas on both sides you have to move them all to the left and just leave numbers on the right hand side like I did here and everything else should work fine all right hope this is helpful to all of you struggling with this problem uh, and see you guys in the next video bye bye